A busy weekend for presidential candidates and a new official candidate in the race. Pete Buttigieg, the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, officially declaring he's running for the White House. He's the youngest candidate and the first openly gay one, but he says it's not about winning a race, it's about winning an era. ABC's chief national correspondent, Matt Gutman, there in South Bend, Indiana. Tonight, the man hoping to make history. They call me Mayor Pete. Officially entering the crowded Democratic field. And I am running for president of the United States. Pete Buttigieg telling the crowd the race for 2020 is a generational That's fight. why this time it's not just about winning an election. It's about winning an era. His long on personal story and agenda. The principles that will guide my campaign for president are simple enough to fit on a bumper sticker. Freedom, security, and democracy. And short on policy specifics. Not once mentioning President Trump's name but taking shots at the man whose job he wants. When something is grotesque, it's hard to look away. And the horror show in Washington is mesmerizing. It's all consuming. But starting today, we're going to change the channel. But the start was rough. The venue chosen just last week due to growing crowd estimates. The roof leaking, the crowd wet, and large, too large. Fire Marshal has shut this down, okay? It's a candidacy full of firsts. He'd be the first mayor to win a nomination, the first openly gay man in office, the first president under 40. His notoriety surging last week in a public spat with fellow Hoosier, Vice President Mike Pence, over the issue of same-sex marriage. And today, calling out to his husband. And to Chaston, my love. And after that speech, kissing him on the cheek. And so going forward, Tom, Buttigieg is going to want to be on the main debate stage with the other leading Democratic candidates. And right now he is polling third in those key states of Iowa and New Hampshire. The question is, how does he keep this momentum going? That $7 million treasure chest is certainly going to help him keep the word out. Tom, will he make it to the main stage? All right, Matt, thanks. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.